three things that we can do to understand our customer better at, a, at our ambience, which happens to be a coffee shop. Well, one, listen to what they're talking about. If I'm with my group of friends and I'm talking about going out partying, you probably know they don't want to carry bags or they don't want to carry a bag because they're going to a party right after. So you understand your customer's going to party, they don't want to carry something. Maybe they're talking about going back to their home country tomorrow. So now you know this is the last time they're going to be here. Maybe they just love the creative fucker concept. Uh, did you know we have other products that are creative fucker concept? Um, so just kind of listening to the cues of what they're saying and when they're paying their attention, what are they looking at? What attracts them? Why are they here for? Got people in a coffee shop are usually more creative and people in a coffee shop is about 70% more productive than in their working in an office or, or in a house. That's what studies show. So if you know humans are in a coffee shop, they're probably producing and anything that you can do to help them focus, it will be um, something beneficial. So understanding your customer, what is it that they need, um, finding the need as well. What is their perspective of, of needing, their understanding of, of what I need. This is exactly what closing the sale is. It's understanding the customer. Who is the customer? Who are, who is the leader that you're pitching? Well, what does that human appreciate? Building strong relationships. I respect you. I nominated you. Levering social proof. I did it yesterday with another human and they love it. Sense of urgency and I need to know by the end of tomorrow. Active listening. I'm concerned about a long day. We have a break for you and I'll call you tomorrow to wrap it up. So the closing, the sale is not on selling a coffee bag only. It's even on the one-on-ones. What is the message that you're trying to convey? I've shared this before, I'll share it again. But one of the best interviews done in history was by Oprah Winfrey to the royals, to Morgan and the husband, Harry. And they got so many views, so many viewerships. So when they asked Oprah, how? How do you do interviews that are really getting, you're extracting what you want? Oprah said, I understand what I want before I go to the interview. I know the answer that I'm looking for before I go to the interview. So this is closing the sale. She goes with questions that are going to lead her to the answer that she's looking for. And that's how she gets the viewership that she wants. She doesn't go there hoping she already has a strategy of what she's looking for. So understanding your customer in an interview, in a one-on-one, -on -one, in a job offering, all of those closing the sale applies. Hiring someone is closing a sale because we go into an interview hoping we're going to hire them. We don't go to an interview hoping we're not gonna hire them. So we're trying to close the sale. Anything is a sale. This meeting is a sale. And my closing the sale would be, are they understanding and am I explaining myself so that they capture what I'm trying to send? I'm closing a sale. That's exactly what it is. Every communication you have. So your question to you would be, I want to get my average sale to $12 an hour. Am I doing this? Am I closing the sale? Forget about the customer saying yes or no. What is it that you're not closing in this, according to these six steps, to close the sale?